get to the Mount Kira Scenic Reserve, this is the way you go from the F6 M1 on the old Picton Road. <laughs> Bit of a dangerous road, whoa! Yeah, so uh, the, yeah, to get to this lookout, you have to travel this way, and this is really off the beaten path for tourists, unless they're really, really keen. So let's do the turn, which is a very sharp turn here, as we head towards the lookout. The trouble is, this is this is a distance, and uh, the tourism crowd are expecting buses to go this way, uh, all sorts of vehicles, and this is a very narrow road where you don't turn there, but you keep going this way. And as you can see, this part to the actual lookout is very, very hairy. And you turn here and you go up here and they're expecting buses to come up here to bring tourist loads. This is not Bald Hill, which looks like the crown of thorns now. The idea is also to have the mountain bike riders come here. How lovely. So at the time of making this video, they've... Uh, Inviting you to have your say about the Draft Mount Kira Summit Park Planner Management and also the Draft Illawarra Scarpet Mountain Bike Strategy. <laughs> That's not very strategic. That's just uh, a lot of riding through the bush, but we'll get to that a little bit later. As you can see, there's quite a turnout and most of the people who are there bought their bicycles. Isn't that very nice? And their mountain bikes. But really, that's only about uh, two to three dozen people who want this because at the moment the mountain trail bike riding is quite illegal. So the uh, local tourism uh, guy whose name is not worth mentioning here said well if it's legal and we can't stop it so let's make it legal. Well that's a really good managerial uh, decision. He'll go far. There's also involved another chap who uh, once worked for a uh, controversial lobbyist developers group in Wollongong. Uh, controversial because they're also involved with the Opal Tower fiasco and also a subdivision at West Apto where the soil apparently is still contaminated. But this person also asked uh, Wollongong City Council not to advertise a uh, DA for a controversial development at Stanwell Tops because it would be detrimental to his clients a case where uh, they get first what they wanted and then there's modifications to change what they originally had to something else and uh, these people were very good at it and it's still timely as it's still going on in Wollongong. Oh and the Stanwell Tops case well that's documented. Anyway no less a luminary than Sir David Attenborough once described the Illawarra Escarpment as the Kakadu of New South Wales. <laughs> I wonder what he would think of uh, this uh, mountain bike riding proposal. Hmm, certainly worthy of a one hour special, what uh, mankind does to nature. Looking out over this pristine view of the Tasman Sea or the South Pacific Ocean, over the Illawarra, all the suburbs, one can really see how low and flat that land is. I wonder how it would survive a tsunami. But anyway, enjoy this glorious view. Over there, this is picturesque Port Kembla, port of call for luxury liners who like to hang out for the uh, Steel City. And over this way, we have Lake Illawarra. And rather interesting from this perspective, one could almost say that at one time, Lake Illawarra was actually a harbour with access to the ocean. That spit was not across the front of it. Something to think about. But the more we look at the area, the land, very low indeed.
a rather disconcerting sign and uh, there are quite a number of them throughout the Illawarra also at Seacliff Bridge hang on there folks there's always help looking around the car park the beautiful Gaimere lilies trees the natural environment certainly don't need a, a bigger expansion than what's uh, already here there's some even uh, barbecue places and here's another rather disconcerting sign Mount Kira Summit Park Southern Lookout Danger a major landslide occurred at this point in February 2012, resulting in a major scar on this part of the escarpment. A remaining rock face contains five large unstable rock fragments located directly underneath the five islands lookout. These are completely separated from the cliff and will fall in the near future. They also make no bones about the lookout beyond this fence is a close indicator of the area of extremely unstable land. Any access beyond this point could trigger a landslide resulting in serious injury or death. Indeed, here's a, a better view of the landslip. Just all crashed down. Now that can happen anywhere along the escarpment edge. As you can see how that sandstone is. It's just hanging out there and they take all precautions it could fall one day and here's another example at Coldale this all just gave away fortunately there was no uh, houses affected or anything like that but as you can see once again that escarpment edge is really really dangerous it's sandstone so any more extra force on this area well, you know, and people can be foolish and, hey, they're going to have mountain bikes riding around everywhere. And that's not going to help. That's not going to cause landslides, but that's not going to help the environment, the nature that stays there to hold it all together. Now, here's uh, one of the original uh, monuments when Mount Kira was developed. And this is from the Wollongong Rotary Club. And the dedication reads as us because this parkland was donated partly by the Vickery and Sons Limited in 1925. So just have a little read of this. Construction of Queen Elizabeth Drive and development of the park was undertaken by the Wollongong Rotary Club 54 1955. Named after the Queen. Here we have a relief map of the area. Uh, you can see the parking area there at the top and the uh, second uh, brown, little brown area on the semicircle there is where this monument is. So this is where we are at this particular moment. Looking over towards all these people of the one interest, mountain bike riding, who are there to have their say and uh, get their way. Here are some of the display areas put up by the National Parks and Mon uh, Wildlife Service and Wollongong City Council for people to read the information. As you can see, uh, you can put your mountain bikes anywhere that you like uh, up against them uh, very old stone walls. Yes, why not? Uh, after all, on a bike's floor, I guess, if you can't lean them everywhere. Um, which is respecting the area, of course. Here we have the very attractive uh, sea cargo container uh, kiosk. Very well thought out and designed. There is no sewage and there is no water. Uh, supplied and only now that they're they putting on the electricity. How nice. As a point of comparison, here's the walking track from Otford Lookout through the Royal National Park. But this is at the start of the track. 
and this is just walking and look at that groove just through walking through people bush walking hiking through this section and if feet do this what will mountain bikes do what destruction you can see what they're like and what will it be like around Mount Kira I guess only time will tell do we look after the environment or not do we cater to a specialized group or not or do we cater to everyone what do you think as we head back towards Sydney uh, we're going a shorter way to Mount Oosley so we'll be turning uh, onto the shorter uh, route and the only way you can actually go is to turn uh, left to go to Sydney if you want to go to the Wollongong you'd have to go all the way back to the Picton Road a lot of uh, very convenient uh, mileage or you could turn left there and go down a very windy road to the back of Wollongong anyway thank you for visiting mm. Thank you.